Sweet June back again. Doing part three. Definitions of a true man woman. Um, this, is a, this is a really deep thing. That's why I'm doing three parts. Because time be running out. <laughs> and this is a really this is a really serious deep subject. So I think it's very important to do a multi-series on this. Um, it's like what I was saying ladies. A continuation of what I was saying. Um, stop thinking this because you 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 know you're sleeping with a guy you're going you're gonna you're gonna land them in. Um, that's just the wrong mentality. That's just the wrong type of thinking. Um, most oftentimes he'll uh, if you sleep with him pretty quick like he'll come back sniffing around um, and then you know he'll want some more. You know men. I hate to say it. I'm not trying to say men are dogs, but in, in a lot of ways, they kind of are like dogs, you know, a lot of them. You know how, let's use this example. You know a stray dog come around your house, you know, stray. You say, oh, what a cute little dog, and you throw him a bone, or you throw him a little something to eat, you feel bad for him. You know, you can't take him in, but you, you throw him a little something, you know, give him something to eat. He going to eat the food. Then he go he go he go on about his business and everything. Then next thing you know, you look up, he didn't came back sniffing by your door again. He's sniffing around again. Cause he see he didn't got the good eating before. So he figured this is where I can come to get me some good eating. And uh, so he looking for you to then, you know, you open your door, he looking up at you with them eyes, you know, thinking you're gonna throw him something else. You throw him a little else something some more something to eat. And then he eat that. Ooh, that's good. And especially if you go to throw on them a little bit of dog food or something like that. Or a piece of meat. Woo! <laughs> then next thing you know, you look up again. He going to be at your door again. Sniffing around. You know? And, you know, because he know where to get the good eatings. And that's kind of how, like, what some of these men do. You know, you could give them a little sample. And the next thing you know, they here they come sniffing around again, you know, saying you you gonna give me some more? You give them you give them another little sample, you know, another taste. Here he coming back again, you know. Next thing you know, every time he wants a piece, here he comes, and that's the only time he ever comes around is when he want a sample, when he want a piece, ladies. You're not, no, you, you don't want to do that. Don't, don't get caught up in that. First of all, you can you put yourself in a position to get pregnant by this guy. You know, he's not going to stick around and help you raise a child. He's not going to marry you. Then you mess around and, and worse yet and get AIDS. And he, he's going to be on his merry little way. He's going to look at you and say, well, you gave it to me. Knowing doggone well that he gave it to you. He leaving you all devastated and everything. And he even went on about his business and give it to other females. So, ladies, don't, please stop settling for that. Stop settling for less. Know your worth. Respect yourself. Don't let a guy use you like that. Don't let him use you. You know? And it's like, and, and that's another point that I'm coming to is, you know, stop, you know, expecting these men, you know, taking money from these men and, and then, you know, giving sexual favors in exchange for money. That's no good, ladies. That's no good. Work for your money. You have a lot more dignity, a lot more respect. You know, that's more, that's worth more then it's weight in gold. Stop expecting, stop taking money from these guys and then giving sexual favors in exchange. They have names for women like that. You don't want to be put in that category. You do not You do not want to be put in that category. If you don't want to be put in that category, then don't do it. You know, if you, if you don't care, then I guess, you know, you don't care. It is what it is. But if you don't want to be put in that category, you don't want to be labeled that way, then don't put yourself in that situation. Guys only, guys only do 
what you allow them to do. I'm making this clear, very clear on here. And, you know, guys put us, men put us in categories. They really do. They categorize us in their head. There's the good time girls, you know, somebody, booty call girls, he can go over and, you know, he can, you know, get a little something off of, you know. And then there's the Mar the, the, the marrying kind of woman. You know, there's and then there's the there's the kind that you know, the good time women. He can, you know, he not he's not gonna take you to his mother's. He's not gonna take you to meet his family. He's not gonna. He may not even be seen with you in public. He just want to meet you behind closed doors. That's how you want him to look at you. But if you if you have respect for yourself, you know your worth and you have value, and they and men will trust me. They will see that in you. And if they're looking for that kind of woman, then, you know, then it, they'll, they'll treat you in a whole different way. They, they won't even disrespect you like that. They're not even going to disrespect you like that. They might go to, to another female and, and do a booty call or whatever, drive by on her. You know, drive by. <laughs> but then, then they'll come when they, when, when they step back to you, they, they talking to you. You know, they dealing with you in a whole different way. You know, situation. They they treating you with like a whole different. They're not even gonna come at you like that because they know you're not gonna fall for it. They they know that you're not gonna stand for it, and they you might even they know you might even check them if they even try to come at you like that. And then in the long run, they will respect you. They will have more respect for you. And then they might they that might that man might even go as far as to, um. Check other guys that want to come at you like that. If other men want to try to come at you like that, he might check them men. Uh uh, that you know that's the lady there. Don't uh uh, you you don't come at her like that. You know, yes. So that's how you want to carry yourself, ladies. If you if you if you put yourself out there like that, that's however you put yourself out there. That's how you will be treated. You know, don't don't sell yourself short. If you want to get married. Then you have to conduct yourself like someone that wants to get married. Because it's the old adage that they say you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. That's true. <laughs> you know, and that's how most guys think. You know, well, you know, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. So if you want to get married, ladies, there's a certain way that we have to conduct ourselves. There's a certain way we have to carry ourselves. We have to carry ourselves with respect. You know, we want a quality man, you know, that will respect us and love us and, you know, you know, there's a certain way that you have to carry yourself. But if you, you're going out there just carrying yourself any kind of way and everything, not standing for anything, falling for anything, then that's the way you're going to be treated. You know, so it's, it's if you want to get settled down, you have to. It's how you carry yourself and how you present yourself. You have to pay attention. And ladies, watch. Be modest in your dress. I can't express this more. Be modest in your dress, ladies. Stop. I, I went. To, I had the wonderful privilege of going to Los Angeles. Oh, have to do. It's a whole nother block. I love Los Angeles. It's a beautiful city. But I noticed I've seen a lot of young ladies down there that they were dressing like a bunch of hookers. Beautiful ladies. Beautiful young black women. Seen a lot of my, took my son with me and I was like, Justin, <laughs> it's a lot of beautiful young black women down here. But a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them were dressed like a bunch of hookers. I'm like, why are these ladies, these women down here dressing like this? They're gonna attract the wrong type of attention. See, if you want to attract attention from a man, there's two type, uh, uh, two types of attention. There's the he'll look at you and say, mm, you know, I want to hit that. Or he'll look at you and say, hmm, that seems like a nice young lady. Let me and um, maybe I can invite her out to dinner or get her phone number and maybe we can talk and I can invite her out to dinner. You take your pick. Take your choice, ladies. Which kind of attention do you want? It's all about how you carry yourself, how you dress. Please, ladies, 
Co try to concentrate on being modest in your dress. Stop walking around with, you know, you bend over. If you bend over and you can see you're behind, your dress is a skirt or your dress is a little too high, ladies. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, the young ladies, some young ladies will come by my house and, and I'll let them know. You know, I will not hesitate to let them know. Don't you think them shorts are a little too high? Don't you think that skirt is just a little too high? Or don't you think you're showing a little bit too much boobage? <laughs> So I, I wouldn't hesitate to let them. I say, look, if your mama ain't going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. You know, it, it's not appropriate, ladies. It's not appropriate. It, you, you're going to attract the wrong type of attention. Yeah, you get, you get it. You say, you, you know, you want to get attention? You'll get attention, all right. You're going to get the wrong kind of attention. You'll get it. I ain't going to say you ain't going to get it. You're going to get it. But it's going to be the wrong kind. It's going to be the wrong kind. Guys are going to be looking at you like you're a piece of meat. You don't want that. If you if you're looking to look if you're looking to meet a quality man that will respect you and honor and care for you, you're not gonna meet him dressed like that, because he's gonna look at you and think you're a hooker. You know, it's, I mean, I know I know, ladies, it's sexist. It's sexist. It is, because I know what you're thinking. I should be able to wear what I want to wear without them thinking that I'm decent. I'm decent. I'm a decent person, and I. And I, everything, and I, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not a whole, but I, I, I just like to dress sexy. And I, I know it's sexist, lady, but it, ladies, but it is what it is. But let me let you in on a little secret. You can dress sexy without being provocative. You can still look sexy and be modest, and, and still look like a nice, like a young lady, uh, because I, 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 I know what I'm talking about. Because I didn't already, didn't, you know, it's just a way that you have to dress yourself. You can still look, you can still look sexy and be modest. Because I, when I go to the hall, I, 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 and when I go to the hall, I look good. I look good, but I'm modest. I'm modest, but I still look good. Okay? You can still be modest in your dress and look good. Okay, I'm going to continue this time running out again. Just, just not getting enough time on here. So I'm hoping I, this is a very important subject. So I'm going to keep it going. Keep it rolling. All right, stay tuned.